The EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for November 21st, 2024. It is Thursday. The Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kleckner & Sons Appliances. Family owned and operated Kleckner & Sons have been serving the greater Lehigh Valley region since 1945. Kleckner & Sons are here to serve your appliance needs at two convenient locations in the Lehigh Valley. 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street in Emmaus. The leader in sales and service prides itself on providing outstanding continuous customer service from the moment the customer steps through the door. Collectors provides a wide range of name brand appliances and parts to target all of your appliance needs. They also offer professional delivery and installation options as well as repair services performed by in-house qualified technicians. From kitchen renovations to small specialty appliances to a new laundry pair, Collectors has you covered. For more information or inquiries, please contact one of their showroom locations or check out their website at klecknerandsons.com where you can give them a phone call and at the number above me here in the video, 610-433-4202. Experience a small business different for yourself. Shop at Kleckner & Sons Appliances, proud sponsor of the Thursday video forecast. Sometimes I get a little winded reading those because they get the longer scripts. Uh, but today we have, uh, the table has already been set, so I don't, I don't need to go through the whole hows and whys like I did yesterday. I'm going to touch on that just briefly because we have uh, the first part of the storm behind us. We had some much needed rainfall overnight. Uh, we even had some elevated convection, some thunder and lightning occurred last night as well in some places across the southern areas. And we had, uh, in addition to that, we had some windy conditions across the Harrisburg, Lancaster area, the southern parts of our area that extended over to the Delmarva later in the evening. But uh, we have uh, this area low pressure that's going to be tucked off the coast right here. And the upper level low is going to capture this thing and kind of pull it back in. All right. So it's going to do one of these numbers and it's going to loop. So this uh, area low pressure today is going to be pulled back in here like this, and it's going to end up going like this, in this direction, just like that, and do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Because of that, and because of the cold upper levels, we are going to see some snow in parts of the region today. And it's going to be a rain changing to snow deal up in just the higher elevations of the Poconos today, okay? So when you get up in there, uh, way up in elevation, up the, you know... Uh, 1,200, 1,500 feet, and then or, or above that, you're going to see start seeing some rain mixing with snow this afternoon and changing to snow completely. Uh, and it's going to wait to uh, it's just going to be just skirt across northern Pennsylvania today. So I don't think you're going to see anything further south. We do have a snow map out for this, and I, and I'm hoping, hoping and praying that people read and have read. So they're not uh, bombarding us on Thursday saying uh, I live uh, you know down by I-78 and I, I didn't see any snow. Well, I, I specifically said it's going to be Friday when you're probably going to see that. So, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how many how, how people read or don't read in this case, because I usually get the comments from people who don't read. Anyway, uh, so this is just going to sit up here uh, and spin. And then once we get to Friday, you're going to see some snow move further south. And that's where the areas further south are going to get into at least some snow. Not a lot, but at least some as this system continues to retrograde. And then again, it pulls off the coast here Friday evening. So then we have a uh, a partly to mostly cloudy Saturday. Sunday is going to be a partly cloudy day. We're going to have moderating temperatures. So it'll be almost like it never happened because whatever snow fell is going to melt with temperatures getting back into the 50s by the time we get to uh, over the weekend. Okay. So uh, for, especially by Sunday, Sunday should be back in the 50s. Higher elevations will be in the 40s, but the sun angle is a little higher this year at this time of year. So you're going to have uh, some uh, rapid snow melt of whatever has fallen. Here's the damn high res future simulator radar going through today, starting off in the morning. You see showers across our eastern areas and still across New Jersey. Continuation of what happened last night. You do see some blue showing up here already because that is uh, in association with this, uh, the colder air and the higher elevations. And it's just focused on these higher elevations up here. These are all higher elevations which are getting that today and this afternoon that area will expand and it will change completely over to snow in those areas but look where it is it's up here by northeast pa uh and it's kind of a rain snow mix here in the scranton looks very carter uh, but the higher elevations around it again above 1200 feet or so you're going to see some snow uh, maybe falling and not necessarily sticking too well until you get to the evening, and then it will start sticking up there. But you see this really stays up to the north here and down further south. It's kind of like a rain snow mix, maybe getting down to I-78 in the evening hours. And then this is going to sit and spin 
and uh, mainly just attacking over areas in the northern areas overnight with snow. And then as that low retrogrades, it's going to pivot and shift all this south. All this snow is going to start shifting south. You see the, almost the entire state of Pennsylvania is under snow at this point and, and northwestern New Jersey included with that. And that's going to go throughout the day, the entirety of the day. And you can see, this is where you get your snow accumulations further south, right? And uh, even for places way south our map actually has an area where snow will physically be falling but not necessarily sticking and we're going to have that all the way down to about i-95 so it's going to be physically falling but snow falling and snow sticking are two different things and we've uh, covered that extensively the last couple of days and this is one of those cases this is an elevation dependent snowfall uh, and that's that's basically the main takeaway with this and our snow map looks like this it is all aligned with elevation so these areas in purple here are the elevations that you get way up there above 1500 feet 1500 1800 feet maybe even 2000 feet in some cases you're going to get some pretty hefty accumulations there greater than six inches maybe as high as 10 in a few spots but most of that will be just over six and then the uh, medium blue here is a three to six area you notice uh, this uh, lighter blue is one to three, but that's going to go into the scranton Wilkesbury area. Uh, in the cities themselves, you're probably closer to the inch there, but, uh, you know, again, the higher elevations around it won't be too far off that. And then down further south, this is going to be Friday when this occurs, down to I-78 where you have the opportunity for a coating to an inch, and that's in the, uh, the darker gray here. The lighter gray in area A here indicates where uh, you could have snowflakes flying physically but not sticking okay that's the whole idea with that so we just want to include you guys in there so you're not left out uh but so if you see snow falling in those areas don't be surprised that includes the philadelphia region it's possible there to see some snowflakes at least mixing so uh if you see that happening uh don't be surprised okay but it's not going to stick too well or at all really uh we don't think but this is our map and this is what it's looking like uh for this system so uh, the only other aspect i want to talk about with the system before we let it go is the fact that we're going to have some breezy conditions picking up overnight late evening overnight uh thursday night and this is going to be into friday morning you'll have the opportunity here for some wind gusts that are going to get in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range in terms of peak gusts and uh sustained winds 15 to 25 for a while there that's going to go into early friday morning and then it's going to consolidate down here in the south central pennsylvania from, you know, places like uh, Lancaster, Harrisburg, all the way back to Altoona, Johnstown, Gettysburg, places like that. We'll have some gusty winds that will continue up to about noon, and then we start to subside after that. And you see the wind just cuts off after that point. So we will have some breezy conditions to go along with this uh, in the late overnight, late late Thursday night uh, into Friday morning time frame as that low begins to retrograde across the region. And the snow map from the, this is the positive uh, cumulative snow depth change, which is a better representation of what actually sticks on the ground. And it's pretty in close alignment with our map. We put our map out early in the afternoon. This is the 18Z run of the uh, European model, which comes out in the early evening. So it was several hours later, about six hours later, after we created the map. And it's pretty much aligned with what we have as far as highlighting the elevation areas and then uh, the lower elevations here just getting about an inch or so, and that is pretty much in line with what we have here. So uh, no reason to really change anything. I doubt we'll be changing anything today, but if there is a change, we'll have that at 5 o'clock on weather alerts, and we will announce it as such. Uh, so getting beyond this, again, this weekend, partly to mostly cloudy skies on Saturday, not looking at precipitation, temperatures on either side of 50 degrees, and then... Uh, it will, and Sunday will be back to partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the lower 50s. It will still be breezy over the weekend, 10 to 15, gusting 20 to 25, especially Sunday. I think Sunday you have an opportunity to uh, increase those winds a little bit. You might have uh, some peak gust at 30 on Sunday. Uh, but overall, not. Uh, it's going to be drying out this weekend. And then Monday uh, is a partly cloudy day to start, and then clouds are increased late in the day. We have this next. I can change this over to a... Uh, regular precipitation map now uh, a cold front moving at us is going to give us some evening showers on uh, Monday evening and then that should clear out overnight and then Tuesday in the wake of this once this pulls away uh, and, and offshore will be a uh, partly cloudy day back to intervals of clouds of sun temperatures will be dropping back a little bit and the day before thanksgiving which is the end of our seven-day forecast period temperatures are back in the 40s for highs uh, we are going to keep an eye on this here this is uh, being modeled to come in and i'll go back to precipitation type just to give you an idea uh and this is just for it does have you know just just for for uh, eye candy right now because uh the gfs has has this in some form just a day earlier uh but uh, this is a black friday to have an opportunity here for some 
maybe some snow in parts of our region again with this next system, depending on the track. But there's a lot of time between now and the end of next week. So we're going to, have to examine this one next week when we get a little bit closer. And these models are at more realistic ranges. Right now, you're going to see a lot of things posted about it. Oh, we're going to have a big snowstorm on Thanksgiving or Black Friday or whenever. Uh, just... Uh, Keep monitoring it. We'll continue to monitor it here going forward, but there's nothing that's going to be concrete at this time. This could end up uh, actually pulling up in this direction here, and then uh, you're getting rain out of this instead. But either way, uh, whatever precipitation we get is very good. Okay, we had a, a healthy dosing last night. We're going to get continued showers. This is going to add to this. Even if it's falling as snow, it's going to melt. So that's going to be turned into groundwater eventually anyway. So this is all beneficial rainfall for our region, and this will be no exception as it comes in at uh, in at late in the week. It just might be. Uh, it's going to be very important to follow though because of the holiday and travel and things like that. So we'll keep a close eye on that as we get into next week i'm epa boy meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for november 21st 2024 have a great thursday